What's up everyone? I'm back here with another app review for you guys. And the app that I'm going to be reviewing today is called File Manager for the iPhone. And you can pick this up free in the App Store. Uh, it does offer in-app purchases if you so choose uh, to upgrade. Uh, but it is free in the App Store, so I will provide a link in the description if you guys are interested. Uh, but essentially what this app allows you to do is basically what the name uh, specifies. Uh, is it allows you to store uh, different file types on your iOS device. So as we all know, the iPhone uh, does not manage uh, different types of files very well. Uh, so say, for example, you want to download a zip file or a PDF or a Word document or something along those lines. Uh, the iPhone doesn't particularly handle those files uh, very well. And this application kind of solves that issue. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at it. Uh, so this is the main screen you're going to see uh, when you launch the app for the first time. Now, of course, all these files won't be there. It'll just be a blank page uh, for those of you that just download the app. Um, but yeah, it's a really simple interface. Uh, on the main screen here, you see all of the list of the files that you currently have stored within the application. And... It can support, or it supports um, multiple different file types, ranging from, like I said, zip, PDF, Word documents, um, standard folders, as you can see there, Mac files, like the, the image files, the .dmg, I believe it's called. Uh, so it can handle a lot of different file types, um, which is kind of cool. But as you can see here at the bottom, we have our tabs. So you have the Home tab. We have the Favorites tab. So if you want a favorite uh, any of your files, you can do that from here. Then we have a built-in web browser, so you can search for links and other files and download them straight from this portion here, which is kind of neat. Uh, and then we have a tab for our cloud services, such as Dropbox, uh, Microsoft OneDrive, and things like that. Uh, and then over here, we have our general application settings. Uh, I'll get to this in just a second, but let's go in back over here to the uh, home section. Um, but anyway, when you have a file in here, you can easily tap on it to view it, and it allows you to preview the document, uh, just like you can in any other file manager, uh, say, for example, on a computer, which is really, really neat. Uh, and then when you want to act on the particular file, uh, you can hit the little share button in the top right, and it'll bring up this contextual menu, so you can share, upload to cloud, print, open in, add to favorites, or get info about the particular file. So let's get info about the file, and when you click on that, it'll bring up uh, the file information, so you can see what type of file it is, the size it's taking up, and the date it was modified. And then you hit done to go back, and hit with the arrow to go back again. And then there's a different way of acting upon a file, so you can slide to the left, and you get a range of different options. So you can do that share option again, add to favorites. You can edit the name by clicking on the little pencil icon. You have the I to get information and the trash can to delete. So to rename the file, you just hit the little pen, like I said, and then it brings up this menu here and you can rename just as such. Very simple. And then you have at the top right up here, you have edit. And this lets you select multiple files at once. Uh, to basically move them, uh, share them, or anything of such. So say, for example, I want to do these two. You select it, it highlights them with a little blue arrow. And then down here, you can do share, copy, move, zip it, or delete. Now, the neat thing is this does handle uh, zip files really, really well. So you can unzip and zip a file. So, for example, these two, you hit zip right here. And then you name the file. So I'm just going to name this one test. And you hit save. And then instantly, the application it create uh, has created uh, a zip file for those particular files. So if we scroll down here, you can see the zip file uh, that says test. And then when you tap on it, it'll ask if you want to uncompress it. Uh, and then if you want to uncompress, you just hit unzip. And then instantly, now it's been unzipped, and there will be a folder added right here. So that's really, really nice to be able to do that. Uh, and compress files and send them via email or something similar. And then, of course, to delete, you hit the trash can, hit delete, and you're good to go. Okay, moving on. Uh, over here to cloud services, 
If you want to add a cloud surface, you hit the plus button up here in the top left, and you have a range of different surfaces to choose from. So you have Dropbox, WebDAV, FTP, Box, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, and iCloud Drive. So you have a lot of different services uh, to choose from. So you can easily sign into your service from here, which is very, very nice. Uh, and then over here, under Settings, uh, we have several options. So we have options to upload uh, via Wi-Fi Sync. So if you click on that, it will bring up a uh, IP address that you would then type into your computer's web browser and then instantly be able to transfer uh, the files on from the application to your PC or Mac, uh, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> and then below that, you have upload through iTunes. Uh, moving down here, we have sort by, so you can sort the files. Uh, you can have folders always first or turn that off. And then we have passcode settings, so if you want to add a passcode uh, to the application, uh, which also does support Touch ID, which is nice. Uh, and then we have sound effects, so you can turn that on or off. And then we have just general stuff down here, tell a friend, feedback, and support. So that's pretty much it of this application. Um, again, it's a really, really neat application. I would really highly recommend it, uh, downloading it if you are someone that needs to manage a bunch of different file types um, on your iOS device. Uh, this application will let you do that very, very well and very efficient. And so, yeah. Again, I will provide a link in the description if you guys are interested in picking this app up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, hit that thumbs up button as well. That's also much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or comments or need help in any way, just drop a comment below. And I'll try to help you guys the best as I can. Um, but yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed once again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.